Fist fighting has erupted among Ethiopian troops serving in South Sudan as part of the United Nations peacekeeping mission in the world's youngest country after a forced return to Ethiopia, where most peacekeepers fear government brutality was met with resistance. Several well-informed South Sudan government sources with direct knowledge have told this evening. There was a fist fight in the afternoon. A good number of Ethiopian forces work in the United Nations mission in South Sudan as peacekeepers are being forced to return home. They are mainly from Tigray region as they resisted and this caused fist fight because those who refused were beaten. The government security sources at Juba International Airport said another senior Juba Airport staffer confirmed the fist fight and said there were no danger as all of the peacekeepers were not carrying their guns when the fist fight broke out, saying heavily mounted security vehicles have been deployed at the airport. As I speak to you, there is a heavy presence of national security services and police forces at Juba Airport. The officials said on condition of anonymity, they were being forced to return home because most of the peacekeepers have concern to their safety once they arrive in Ethiopia, and I'm talking about those from Tigray region. Phone calls to South Sudan government spokesman Michael Mokir and the army spokesman were not responded. Police spokesman Major General Daniel Justin said he won't comment until I find out what is being said to have taken place while I haven't heard anything about it.